If you're not aware of the advantages of shooting HDR video using your Insta360 ONE R, this video will explain why you seriously need to be considering this and why it's so good. Oh, and I'll also be comparing the ONE R to see how it compares to the ONE X HDR video, which I love so much. Let's go. So what is HDR video then and why would I want to be shooting using that mode? I have a video on how good HDR video works on the ONE X just here. And HDR video on the ONE R is more of that great feature, delivering better dynamic range through simultaneous multiple recording of videos at different exposures and then blending these video tracks. Even if it's not true HDR video, it's still very good. So if it's so good, well, why wouldn't you use it all the time? Well, until recently, recording HDR video while moving was a problem for most cameras. You might see one image kind of floating on top of another one, which is the ghosting. Or you might also see a bit of a jello effect where the background seems stable, but the foreground seems to wobble around a bit. But I haven't tried this on my one arm much until now. So in this test of what HDR looks like, let's look at a few comparisons. First, let's shoot some Insta360 ONE R normal video and then compare that to ONE R HDR video in the same location in roughly the same lighting conditions. And I'll try to choose a few different examples here showing different shooting conditions so you can see the difference. But people have also been asking me how the ONE R HDR video compares against the ONE X HDR video. So let's try these comparisons too. And then we'll try some dynamic low speed moving HDR video in a couple of different conditions again, directly comparing the ONE R and ONE X HDR video on auto head to head. And in all of these, they are reframed for flat screen viewing rather than 360 degree viewing. I'll add a bit of commentary on the scene so that you can see what I think, but you can also judge for yourself too. All right, let's do this. These clips were exported from the Insta360 desktop studio, which I don't normally use, but I wanted to make sure they were exported out at a higher quality than you can get out of the app, so you can really see the detail for yourself. I exported all the clips at 4K and 60 Mbps. We can see how the lights coming in from the outside completely blows out the video here. On auto, it just can't handle the difference in light between the dark inside and the bright outside. Although the indoor space is still pretty soft and noisy, you can see the phenomenal difference that the HDR video mode makes to being able to see outside. Although it's still pretty blown out, you can see much more detail here now with the white van and the hills too. All right, let's look at how the ONE R compares with its standard and HDR video. In this ONE R standard video, I'm seeing the same blowing out of details from the outside with possibly a few more details apparent, but look here and here, and I actually think this is noisier than the ONE X standard video. You'll have a chance to see for yourself when I put those videos side by side in just a few moments. Let's look at the ONE R HDR video and see what that looks like. I think this still looks pretty noisy if you look at the details on the inside of the building. But I think the ONE R does a great job of balancing out the light from outside, making the details of the hills and the white fan much clearer. All right, let's take a look at how the ONE R and ONE X standard video compares in these tricky conditions. And now let's take a look at how the ONE R and ONE X HDR videos compare too. The ONE X does a nice job outside here, though it is again quite soft here on this bush, the details of the hills around here, and also on this block of wood bench. It's possibly something to do with the color range, but there also appears to be a line of softness here, which is noticeable. But look also how the sky is blown out where the sun is. Let's check out the ONE X HDR video outside next. 
The softness in those details remains in the bush, the hill and the bench, and even the edges on either side here. But look how much better the sky looks. The colours look poppier and I expect that's something to do with the standard contrast and sharpening settings compared with the standard of the One X. You'll get a chance to see those side by side in a moment. But look at the noise here in the bottom right quadrant. I think as well as the softness, this is noisier than the One X footage. The sky is blown out, but possibly not as much as the One X. Let's look at the One R HDR outside video and see what that looks like. This is interesting. The sky looks better, but there is definitely an orange color cast to this video capture compared with the standard One R video. Did you notice it? Unfortunately, HDR doesn't do much about the noise we saw in the standard video or the softness in the image in places too. All right, let's take a look at how the One R and One X standard video compares in these windy outside conditions. And now let's take a look at how the One R and One X HDR video compares outside too. And just for completeness now, let's have a look at the One R video versus One X video while walking around. First, standard video, and then to round us off, a look at HDR video again. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments below for sure. And hey, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you watch this video and I've got some great new videos coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. I'm Saab Johal, applaud down below maybe if you see that option and catch you again soon for more useful tech videos from me. Hmm, do I smell a rebrand on the wind? Cheers and good night.